All right, we're behind my TV now. You see I got everything hung up there with the six uh, strip outlet. This is where it's going to get plugged in it. But this is the cable coming from the main cable box in the basement. And it comes up to the little cable box here and then out to the TV. So this one is what I'm going to do to reverse osmosis. This is coming to the cable line. I'm going to hook up the HD TV antenna to this to send the signal back. To the rest of the TVs to split it. So this one right here, I'm gonna put a two-way splitter on. Now let me go show you my spaghetti wires. All right, so we're in my basement now. I got my headlamp on. That's why I'm showing you my spaghetti wires. This right here was all done up really nice and everything, but you see these big beams all the way down. I had my basement lifted, so I had to knock everything out to get these beams put in here. All right, so these are my spaghetti wires. This is the main wire coming from the cable company into my house into a two-way splitter. And then it separates into six of them for all the TVs in the house. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I marked them. You see? I marked them all. But don't mark them like close up here. Mark them further back. I actually had to take each one of them one by one, put the TV loud, and one by one take it off. And then this way I know exactly how to mark all my all my wires. So I know where they're all coming from. I know the front room one and everything. So with the two-way splitter, I'm going to send into this three-way splitter right here. So from the front room, that antenna is going to come into this one. And then it's going to split into, say, my bedroom and the back bedroom. And then this one right here is going to jump into this splitter right here. And then I'm going to have access to three more. Now the two-way from outside, I'm not going to touch that. I'm going to leave that one with the cable because one of these cables is going to go to the cable box. And the other one is going to, I'm going to leave it into my bedroom TV to see what happens with the cable when the cable's coming in. So I'm just going to use these right now. And then we'll go from here. Like I said, I'm going to bring my TV from the TV one. It's going to come into right here. So I'm going to start with that one right now. Man, I don't know why it costs so much anxiety cutting your cable bill. That's the two-way splitter that was coming into the house. I just put it directly into the back of the box just for the internet now. I can't believe how much anxiety I'm freaking having just cutting the cable off. This two-way splitter I needed for up here. Jack of all trades, master of none. You figured I'd have a two-way splitter in the house. Could not find one for anything. So I was worried about taking the cable because I wanted to leave it to see if I could split it to see when you cut the cable if there's any signal that comes through. Yeah, you know, so I was like, you know what? This is to cut the cable. To cut that bill and just go down to, I think the internet is $55 a month. So, uh, like I said, so I did wind up cutting this off. Now, the cable that's coming from the basement to the here, I'll show you right here. Yeah, I got my old TV, believe it or not, because it hasn't gone out on me. This is an old big boxy TV. But I always say, like, you know what? You know how much flat screens I see in the garbage already? And I still, this TV is at least 26 years old. 26 years old is this TV. So, okay, now what I am unscrewing here is the signal, the cable signal that comes from under the stairs, under the basement to here from the cable box, okay? Now this one is gonna come in from the antenna and then it's gonna split to the TV and to the rest of the house. So I'm going out the two-way right here to squeeze it, to put that in right there. I'm going to go ahead and, when you see me screwing this in with one hand trying to get this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, speed that up on the footage right there. I'll shut it off right now. All right, the other one, this goes straight to the TV. Well, actually, we still have a VCR. But this goes right into the TV and the VCR, which actually is going to be cut out the system because I'm going to use the VCR for to hook up to my laptop to use it as a capture card it's because it a vcr has an out so there's a way to use that as a capture card now this input is going to come from the new antenna i just bought i wanted to show you it's really small marked but the amplifier it does say two tv and two antenna so this antenna the antenna is going to come into this side and then this side that's already connected is going to go to the tv Okay, now I'm being pressured because my wife's a Bears fan and the Bears are playing the Packers right now. Okay, but this is my antenna. We got plastic on this window anyways. There's a window here. So I just take the antenna to the plastic right there. And it's going to be covered up where you're not going to see it anyways. Now I put the splicer, the antenna, 
into the main two-way. Now this is the main signal coming in the house right now into the two-way splitter, one to the TV and one to the basement. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so apparently, you see it's converting the channels right now. This is on my flat screen in the bedroom, okay? So apparently my 26 year old TV in the front room does not have any digital capability, so I would have to buy a digital converter box. So apparently my front room one is not gonna be used right now because I'd rather get a newer TV than convert to a digital converter box. So it's searching for the digital channels right now on this TV and I have to hurry up because my wife wants to watch the Bears game. So hopefully I can get this on. It's at 44% right now. Okay, so it's still searching. It found 46 digital channels. This is why I don't like the damn channels, 5.1. Dude, it's crystal clear. Crystal clear with the HD antenna. There are 46 free channels that we got with it. So, but in the same for us, crystal clear is that I still got my analog TV. And I guess with the HD, you see a little bit of difference is why you need the 60 to 120 refresh rate. Kind of when it's running and action packed, it's a different image than if it's a little bit more steady. So our TVs, we would always, I mean, for the bedroom, I just got like this. We paid maybe $100 for this 32 inch screen TV on sale. It's an Emerson. But so right now this is free TV. So in the bedroom, we got the Android box and a Roku box. On the other TVs, we're going to have the free TV, but eventually we are going to get Android boxes for every room. And uh, either way, it's working. I'll let you know what channels, what other channels are on here when I get the other TV programmed. After you hook it up, you do have to switch it, go into menu for your TV, and go into uh, antenna channel search. Okay, so it's all done. They're all connected, all the other TVs. I still did the reverse osmosis thing from this TV. I ran the antennas right here on the window. Uh, they say put it as high as possible, so I guess I could have put it higher because it did, does give you a decent lead. I plugged it in for the extra reception, but this cable box was always plugged in anyways. Why does wise? I don't know what it's using. Uh, I ran, reversed it all the way to under the stairs, split it to the rest of the TVs in the house. I did commit to taking the cable TV out and just put it in for antenna. I'm about to call the cable company now. Kind of sad here with my 26 year old TV though. This TV doesn't have a digital converter in it. Therefore, it can't get any of the free signals over the internet because they're all digital signals now. You know, that's kind of sucks. So, uh, this TV's finally going to get replaced. But I can tell the difference because we've never had high definition or whatever. So, on our flat screen that we got in the bedroom, you see the little difference in the sport, like that ch choppiness when it's a fast scene. But if it's a regular scene, it's not bad. So, now I see why you got to, you know, I really hate to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade to keep up with the Joneses, kind of. You know, this one right here, we never had that problem. Yeah. So, you hear my honey watching their birds game? So, either way, I'm about to call the cable company now because that's it for that $128, $135 bill. Bye. Alright, if you have an old TV like this, the converter box for it is $20. So, I don't really need to buy a new TV for it. I could go to Wally World. Purchase a digital TV converter box for 20 bucks and then but it's another thing you got to be plugged in But what it does is it converts the digital signals the free digital signals so I can watch them on here Also, I was thinking about just putting my Roku box over here. That will convert it itself So I don't know about that one, but let me show you about the uh, modem